G'day punters, welcome to another edition of Group One Guns. My name's Pete, filling in for Fletch, who's gone off surfing today. I'm joined as always by Adam Kirkpatrick from the Race Club. Welcome, Ads. Good to be here, mate. Fletch is just hanging ten overseas. He's he's <laughs> taken off right on the, the biggest day of racing. Yeah. And Fletch decides to take the week off. So classic here we go. Fletch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started with the Everest. Uh, it's the weight for age over 1,200 metres with, of course, a massive $15 million prize money. Uh, we've got defending champ Nature Strip back in action, opened up odds on, seems to have drifted out a bit. Are we taking, are we taking the short odds ads? I think we, you probably have to, but I'm, I'm going to play it a little bit on the fence with Lost and Running, but Nature Strip peak figure is far superior to all of these. So, And I don't think the wide barrier is... Um, of any concern, to be honest. I think he'll like the, the open spaces. It, it gets him to get into a rhythm out in his own. He's not stuck inside horses. and Because he can be slow to step and then muster up, but I think outside horses is good for him. Superior figure and a bit of a different lead in prep. He was quite forward for that first up run, given the UK overseas stint. So I think he, he gets out, does his thing, and he's clearly the one to beat. The only one was lost and running. And um, I'll quote O'Shea here, he said, Nature Strip needs to suffer some adversity and Lost and Running needs to suffer none. So if that is the case. I think Lost and Running, if Nature Strip does get caught and peppered, there is a little bit of speed and there's a couple of uh, new horses on the scene this year. So if that does eventuate and Nature Strip is found wanting, Lost and Running gets the perfect tag into it. Barrier seven, slots up in behind the speed and the return in the shorts was fantastic and then backed it up in the premiere when Bowman went pretty early, pretty confident. I think he's ready, he's, he's ready to peak here today. So the way I will play it is have $80 on the strip and I just want to make a little chop out play on Lost and Running. So 80 and 20. Beautifully done. I'm just going my full 100 on the strip. The strip? Yeah. I like Can't it. Can't go wrong. Standard. That Fletch would have done that, <laughs> <Yeah>. I reckon. <laughs> That's what happens when you do no form. Uh, the Kosciuszko will move on. Uh, 1,200 metres, set weights and penalties for the country horses with $2 million in prize money. Um, it's me, of course, won this race back in 2020 and is the early favourite. Uh, pretty wide open race ads. Can she add another cosy to the title? Well, I think there's a bit of a cloud hanging over her with um, the, there is going to be subject to a vet check uh, the morning of. I think they're, they're talking stone bruising, something with feet, which I really don't like. And I know the soft or heavy surface is going to help that, um, alleviate any of that. But it's still not something you want hanging over you going into what looks the grand final for probably all of these. Um, but front page is the one. If only we knew how uh, he would go on the surface. I'd be very, very confident. I think his fresh form's fantastic. He's had two jump outs, so no no public trial work in New South Wales, but over the border, two jump outs. It's gone really well. He'll be here to peak, and I think the stable shares that same concern. If he, if he handles it, he, he's ready to go. So it's going to be front page for me. I think far too easy um, comes down and goes really well and suited better up in trip as trial between runs and was quite good um, over probably the unsuitable trip where It's Me came over the top after um, and that and has trial between like I said so getting out to 1200 metres now does tag a good speed Arc Godot, one trial into this I'm not really sure so it does it the, the depths just go oh it goes really deep after the top few and I think you've just got to isolate a few of the the key performed horses and try and um, yeah pick a winner basically so front page for me each way I'll just go 50 each way on front page I'm going to back you in here, Ads. I'm going to put my full 100 on front page as well. Just, oh, I like it. Yeah, taking a leaf out of Fletcher's book as well. I'm doing my best for you, Fletch. <laughs> this is real easy, this form. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on to the Caulfield Cup, the, the big one down in Melbourne. Um, we've got $5 million in prize money, obviously the key lead-up race to the Melbourne Cup. The Ma Eustace camp, they've obviously got a couple in this one with Smoke and Romans and Gold Trip. Um, Smoking Roman's obviously the favourite after its impressive run in the, the Turnbull Stakes, drawn well in Barrier 5. Benno's the only other runner sitting in sing, single figures, so it looks a pretty wide open race. How are you playing this one, Ads? This one's really wide open, like you said. I, I think the Ma Eustace camp obviously hold um, a strong hand here, but Gold Trip, which is well publicised, is really bad at the weights here. And I hasn't returned a figure similar to the overseas form. And I think had, although wide and has had somewhat taxing runs, the tempo hasn't been ridiculous. And I think entitled still to box on at the end. So gold trip with the weights against, I've sort of gone off. I think Smoke and Romans had it soft up top. So it's, those two I've sort of 
taken away. Some of these horses, like Montefilia, how well is it going? Joaz, has it come back as well? Knight's Order is the one that, you know, Sydney Cup winner. This is going to be a, a, a true, truly run 2,400 metres. I mean, they're, they're talking 20 to 40 mils uh, today or Friday. And then we get to Saturday. What are we racing on? It's going to be a very heavy surface. The Sydney horses come across. They're used to it now. It's been raining for a year in Sydney. Uh, but then you get Allegra on that had a little bit of a setback with the elevated temperature, so has missed a run into this. So I don't think you want to be missing a run coming into um, a grand final and given the surface as well. So I've gone all the way through it and I've settled on Inspirational Girl and even she has the, the query in the going. But if you go back to the Donny run, it wasn't that bad given the way the race was run and it was out the back early and was just not a chance so i'm going to say she does handle it i don't think she was bad through it and she was still uh finding the line late there and sort of yeah it, it was soft so i'm going to put a pen through that and just say she handles it it's the low draw and i think if we look at what madame pomery did uh in the guineas uh on wednesday i think they can fan through the middle and inspirational girl getting here the peak the stable's out now so this is you know it's been set for this has been our target it, she'll be spot on and I think she'll have the fitness to come through. And she was very good last start in a race that wasn't run to suit. She really flattened out well and, and did have a bit of a checkered path at a switch off heels and she really knuckled down late. She, she recorded top closing figures at the meeting. Um, so she's, she's back extremely well and I, I think she is potentially the horse to beat, um, which sounds weird given she's about $17. So I'm going to play her $60 to win and $40 to place. Ooh, nice one. Yeah. I, I would jump on with you, but I'm also going to go Ruffy. I'm going to go Montefilia, uh, 50 bucks each way at the $20 quote. She can do it. She's got the figure, and that's the thing. She's got one of the better figures here in her career, but how well is she going? Maybe going not too bad. Maybe the races are being visually, yeah, deceiving. We'll see how we go. All right, time for the punting league. Uh, this is where we've got two bets across the country. One is in our Group 1, which is the Caulfield Cup this week. And then the next bet is our best bet around the country. Uh, we'll start with you, Ads. What do we like in the Caulfield Cup? We're going there in the group one. It's going to have to go $100 on the nose for Inspirational Girl. And for the best bet, I'm sticking at Caulfield, which is probably silly given it's going to be so heavy and effective. We don't know what's going to happen. But going to race seven, a horse and upward spiral, Asfura. It, it's going really well, the mare. So... I'm, I'm happy to go. There is there is plenty of talent in the race. You've got Generation who's proven, but probably wants a little bit more grounded. Peak figures at 1,200. This is a thousand. Uh, I think as far as got the the yeah the potential upside and the figure can be improved at a thousand. So I'm sticking there. 100 bucks there. Beautiful. All right, punters. There you have it. All the best this weekend. Gamble responsibly, and you won't see me, but you'll see Fletch and Ads back next week.